Good afternoon, my name is Blake Shu. I'm with Swing Catalyst. I'm their managing director in the United States. I'm joined by Adam Bazaljet. We're here to talk about Swing Catalyst, which is the most sophisticated and technologi technologically advanced software and hardware integration program here at the PGA Show uh, in Orlando, Florida. This allows you to quantify the differences, get immediate feedback, even real-time feedback, and you can develop feel. Why don't we go ahead and uh, run through a demonstration okay. with, uh, with Swing Catalyst. Here we are at the main menu for Swing Catalyst. And Swing Catalyst is, as Adam mentioned earlier, is very user friendly. It almost talks you through the, 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 the setup. So we'll go ahead and go to the Swing Catalyst main menu. Go ahead and look at some swings that, that Morgan made. I can double click on that swing and it'll open up. Anything that I open up will actually drop down into what we refer to as the stack. The stack is found in the bottom part of the, of the menu here. I go back and I open up another swing for, for Morgan on a different day. It too will open up down in the stack. So I can go to the side-by-side -side function up at the top, which says View Models, and I can actually click and drag and bring that other swing up into the other, uh, other side of the screen. What we do is when you first capture the player, we go on to the uh, face-on view. We would open up the padlock there, and I would try to bookmark the swing for the very beginning of the takeaway. Now it gives you the timing of the swing, in this case, or the rhythm, 2.6 to 1. There was a popular book a few years ago detailing that an ideal golf swing is about 3 to 1 timing of backswing to downswing. That's not necessarily exactly the case with every player, but you can see definitively the rhythm. And importantly, you can see if the player's changing their rhythm over time, it's defined for you. Let's go ahead and, uh, and, and, and take a look at this, this young man's weight shifting pattern. So our pressure pad data is displayed in the upper right-hand quadrant of the, of the screen. You notice it kind of looks like a, like a heat sensor up there, exactly. doesn't it? And you can so, tell when there's more orange, there's more pressure, when there's more cool colors, blues, greens, there's less pressure. less pressure. What's great about this, amongst other things, is that as the player moves in their swing, in fact, let's make him split screen, we'll make him full screen. As the player moves, you see the movement of the feet, the pressure points on the feet. Over here, you can see the percentage of pressure on each foot. Obviously, that's the right foot, that's the left foot. We'll talk about this in just a minute. And you'll see the movement of the center of gravity or the center of pressure right there. And again, with elite players, we see very distinctive patterns and similarities in the way they move their weight. So at the top of his backswing, he's 78% on his right foot. You can see he's primarily on the ball of that right foot. As he starts down, his weight shifted quite dramatically back to the left. He's 45% on the left side of his foot now. We just had uh, LPGA player Julieta Granada here at the, uh, at the booth. Julieta Granada here, you can see that the launch monitor data is displayed down here in the third box. So any of the launch monitor data that you would traditionally have is captured within each take, which is really great is from a, you know, is my instruction allowing this person to hit it better, hit it straighter. Exactly. Kind of, kind of separates you from you know your competition. Make, it does. Making you the ultimate instructor. It making does. Your area, your state, your region, things right. like that. You can quantify what you're doing that it's actually helping. 